Hi guys, so today's video is going to be another video review of Jeffree Star's products and I tend to do these videos whenever he brings out a new collection just because, I don't know, you guys seem to really like these videos. I think it's because like, I tend to give my honest, well I do, but I give my honest opinion in my videos and sometimes that can come across um, as being seen as negative by people but honestly like I just... I just try to be honest, um, so if you see that as negative, then I am sorry, but you know, I just like to be honest with you guys. Today's video, like I said, is going to be just me reviewing the new Jeffree Star Summer Collection, um, like, can't remember what it's called, like, Chrome or something like that. And I know that um, with Jeffree Star review videos also comes a lot of drama because he is wrapped up in quite a lot of drama, but first thing I want to say, if you don't like Jeffree Star, why did you click on this video? Second thing I want to say is in this video, I'm literally just reviewing the products that is it. I'm reviewing his products and that is what I'm going to be doing. If you're in the UK you can get um, Jeffree's summer collection from Beauty Bay which is where I got mine from. They did actually very kindly send me it in a PR package. In all of my previous videos I've just bought it myself off of Beauty Bay um, but I, I don't know I guess they maybe picked up on that and they thought oh let's send her the things and then she might do a video but they did which is so nice of them. This video is not sponsored like obviously they didn't even kind of tell me to make this. They didn't say oh we'll send you the products in exchange for a review. They just sent me the products and then I decided to do a review because I was actually gonna buy them and do one anyway, so thank you so much to Beauty Bay I can't speak. Thank you so much to Beauty Bay for sending me these products. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna try the highlighter just because I feel like that is the natural order for me to go in. By the way, I just want to say if my eyeliner looks a bit dodgy, it's because I like majorly messed it up and I've gone over with, I've gone over parts of it with concealer, but it still looks a bit like smudged. So I already have three of Jeffree's other highlighters. Um I have Ice Cold Princess Cut and then um Eclipse is it called? Yeah, the one that he did with Manny, so I'm gonna do a quick little swatch comparison with those as well, but um, I got the highlighter in Crystal Ball, which um, is the kind of white one. This is what the packaging looks like, it's kind of like the shiny, pinky, chromey sort of thing, and then you open it up um, and it looks like this. Mine has already got fingerprints on it because I've already taken it out of the box and had a look at it, but like... It picks up fingerprints so easily. That is the one downside to this packaging. Um, but other than that, I do quite like it. But obviously, if something is mirrored, it's gonna pick up fingerprints. That's kind of like a given, so it doesn't bother me too much. Um, and then obviously, you open it up. It's got the nice big mirror, and then it looks like this. And I think this is supposed to have some kind of like duochrome shift to it. Yeah, I feel like this is supposed to have some kind of duochrome shift. But just looking at it in the pan, it doesn't, it literally just looks like white to me, like no matter which way I turn it. Um, but I don't know, that might change when it's on my face. Um, so if I just quickly compare it to Ice Cold. Ice Cold is definitely my favourite highlighter by Jeffree. I feel like it's the best formula out of the ones that I've got. So here's a comparison of them side by side. And then I'm also going to compare it to Eclipse, which is the one that you did with Manny MUA. So this one is Eclipse, and then this is Crystal Ball. Okay, so there we go. Here is the comparison of it. This is Crystal Ball here, and then this one is Ice Cold. I feel like Ice Cold has got a slight bit more gold to it. It's a slightly more like goldeny white, if that makes any sense. And then Eclipse is more like, I feel like it's just kind of like a straight up white. And the texture of Crystal Ball is a little bit more crumbly. Ice Cold is a bit more smooth. That's the one thing I have found with like the more recent highlighters by Jeffree. I don't know if it's just like the top layer or something, but I found that they're a little bit more crumbly than my like ice cold highlighter. So I don't know if he's changed the formula or something, or whether it's just like the top layer that needs to be scraped off or something. I have no idea. Um, but I'm just gonna put it on my face and see how it performs because obviously that is all I really care about. I'm using a Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush to do this. Hmm. Okay, this time I'm going in a bit more. Damn, I feel like this one is not as intensely pigmented as Ice Cold. Like, it's a little bit more... It requires a bit more building. Like, obviously in the viewfinder, that looks really blinding now, but that is after the third layer, so... I guess you just have to build it up. I'm not really sure though, like, I don't really see any, like, duochrome shift to it. To me, like, well, on my skin anyway, I don't know, it might look different on different people's skin. But to me, it's just looking like, kind of like a whitey, silvery sort of highlighter. Actually, in the viewfinder, it kind of looks a little bit blue. Is there a bit of blue in there? 
I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'm just going in for my third layer. Okay, so in the viewfinder, that looks amazing. Um, in real life, up close, it does look a tiny bit textured, but then I feel like, to be honest, guys, if you look at my face close up, most of my highlights tend to look a little bit textured just because my skin tone is not perfect. I feel like on most people, like, the softbox lights really blur out stuff, but on most people, highlighters tend to look a bit textured when you look at them close up. But, I do quite like it, but I have to say, I definitely prefer my other highlighters by Jeffree, like, I feel like out of all the highlighters that I have by him, this is probably my least favourite. My favourite is definitely Ice Cold, because I feel like it's just so much more pigmented than this one. Wow, I really need to take off my lipstick. By the way, if you're wondering, the lipstick that I have on right now is like a £1 nude lipstick by MUA. So I'm just going to put a bit on my cupid boo, and then a bit on my brow bone. I didn't bring over a smaller brush, because I'm disorganised, so I'm just going to do it like this. Yeah, like, I feel like on the first layer, nothing really, like, comes up. It kind of just, like, flakes off. You kind of have to, like, really dip your brush in it and then put it on your face. I get told so much that I'm being negative, but honestly, you guys, I'm just giving my honest opinion. But then at the same time, I do feel kind of bad, because, like, obviously, if this was my product, I would feel really bad if somebody was, like, being mean about it. But I'm just saying, like, for me personally, it's not my favourite, but... And I feel like he has other better highlighters. But if you like it, then you do you. But like personally, like this one is just not really working for me. I mean, it is pretty, like the overall look is pretty, right? And another bonus to this is that it's super pale. So if you do have super fair skin like myself, I mean, obviously right now I'm a tiny little bit darker because I've still got a little bit of fake tan still remaining. But if you're super pale, then this is gonna be like a bright highlight on you. Um, but yeah, I just feel like the other ones are better. Okay, so moving on, the next thing that I have is the Velour Lip Scrub in Watermelon Gum. I've never tried one of his lip scrubs before, so when I saw this, well, when I smelt this, because it was the first thing that I could smell in the box, um, I was really excited. I also opened this earlier and I ate a bit, and then I was like, wait, was I supposed to eat that? Because I wasn't sure if they were edible. But loads of you guys on Twitter told me that they are edible, thank God, because... I could have died. I love how my reaction, like when something smells nice, is to just eat it. And the fact that it was like a sugar scrub, I was just like, oh, I wonder what it tastes like. So I just put it straight in my mouth without even checking if it was edible. <laughs> okay, so the packaging looks like this. I do like it. It's just a bright pink, sugary, delicious smelling thing. The reason that I love the smell of this is, do you guys remember when we were kids, okay, maybe if you were my age, I don't even know if they still make it, but I'm pretty sure L'Oreal used to do a shampoo that was like, no more tears or something. One of them smelled like this. Like, it literally smells exactly like a shampoo that I had as a kid. It does say on the thing that you can lick it off, so that's what I'm gonna do. Any beauty product that smells nice and I can eat is like, a win for me. Mmm. See, the issue I have with this is, to me, it just tastes like shampoo. I think it's because, like, I just don't like the artificial watermelon taste at all. You know, like, when you get watermelon sweets, I am not about that life. And this is just what this tastes like. My lips feel really smooth. I feel like that definitely got off a lot of the dead skin. I think it has some kind of, like, oil in there, too. Um, yeah, my lips feel really good now. Okay, so finally moving on to the lipsticks. As you guys know, if you are a long-term subscriber, Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick formula is my favourite liquid lipstick formula. Like, I'm not trying to kiss his ass or anything. But yeah, I'm just saying, like, his liquid lipstick formula is just perfect. No matter what you think of Jeffree Star, you can't deny that his liquid lipsticks are really good. So, I got two new shades. I got the shades Family Jewels and Hunty. And then out of his lip ammunitions, I got the shade Birkin... I was about to say bikini. Birkin suede. By the way, I have one of his old lip ammunitions to compare. I wasn't the biggest fan of these uh, in terms of the packaging. Like, the lid just comes off really, really easily. Um, but I did actually like the colour. I have... Mm, I like the smell as well. I have Celebrity Skin um, in this lip ammunition form, and I do like it. A lot of people complained that they were grainy. I found that they look grainy in the thing, and they felt a bit grainy, but when you actually put it on, the little grains or whatever they were just kind of melted into your lips, so. So, I like the fact that this one feels a lot more sturdy. I think it might be an actual metal one. Yeah, it feels cold. It looks a bit dodgy to me, though. Anybody else seen that? But anyway, this one's lid definitely does not like come off with the other one if you like shake it like this the lid literally falls on the floor but this one he's definitely improved on the packaging so and i'm not sure how this color is going to look on me it is a very 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 pale nude but let's just give it a go and let's give it a smell yeah they smell really good 
I do like the smell. It's quite strong, but I like it. Ooh, okay. Boy, am I glad that I exfoliated my lips because this is a nude. Okay, so I really like the formula of this, actually. You know what? I feel like with a darker lip liner, this would actually look really nice. I've been really into, like, super pale nudes recently. I'm not really sure why. Oh, I've dropped it. But I like the formula. It's kind of like a satin finish. It's not matte, but it's not, like, super glossy. I feel like it would actually, like, stay there. Okay, so here is the swatch. The top one is Celebrity Skin. The bottom one is Birkin Suede. So, as you can see, they're extremely different. But I just thought I would give you a little comparison anyway. Okay, so, overall, I do actually like this lipstick. I feel like, for a pale nude, he's pulled this off pretty well, because sometimes they just look absolutely shite. <laughs> okay, so next I have the two liquid lipsticks. So I have Hunty and I have Family Jewels. I'm just gonna do a quick comparison to like other colors that I feel like are similar. <gasps> I've missed the start of Love Island. I was gonna try and make this video quick, but I've missed it. Okay, so this one doesn't smell. Family Jewels does not smell. Whereas like some of his liquid lipsticks that are supposed to smell of like root beer or something, I actually really like the smell of them. At the start, I hated it because I thought it smelled of cough, cough medicine, but now I really like the smell. Okay, so there we have them all close up. This is Family Jewels, Gemini, Androgyny. Then we have Hunty, Celebrity Skin, Posh Spice, and Daddy. So there we go. If you have any of these, then hopefully this gives you some sort of comparison. Obviously, they all look really dark on my skin because I'm literally white. <laughs> and I'm going to start with Family Jewels, which is the darker one. Wait, I probably should have started with the lighter one. I will. I actually did that all in one dip without even having to like dip back in, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so as always, like with Jeffree's lip called lipsticks, I just love the formula. It applied perfectly, as you guys can probably see from the um, footage. Um, I love this. It's so smooth. It is so smooth. Like this one is not patchy in the slightest. I was kind of worried that it might be because it's a little bit of like a darker color. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. They dry down matte, but they're not uncomfortable, like, in the slightest. I personally don't find them uncomfortable, like, I don't find them drying and I literally can wear them for, like, a full day. It's probably a colour that I would go for maybe in the more, like, autumn time. Oh, these face wipes by Soap and Glory smell so good. <laughs> can I eat these two? Okay, so next we are gonna do Hunty. I'm kind of nervous because this does not look like it's gonna suit me, but we'll see. Again, that applied pretty much flawlessly. I really like this colour. I thought I wasn't going to, I thought it would be too orange, but I really like it. I feel like this be could become like my new favourite nude, just because, I don't know, it's just something a little bit different, like, it's not as like pinky toned as Celebrity Skin. When I saw it in the tube, I thought it was going to be really kind of orangey, because I don't know, it just looks really orange, but actually on the lips, I feel like it dries a little bit darker and this is like my perfect nude. I love it so much. Okay, so there we go. Overall, do I think the collection is worth the money? The liquid lipsticks, yes, definitely. I think, as always, his liquid lipstick formula is just so good. Like, I don't know why it's so good, but it's just good. Um, the liquid lipsticks, I definitely think are worth the money. Um, the lip ammunition, I think, are better than his previous lot of lip ammunition lipsticks, just because the packaging is, like, so much more sturdy this time. Do I think the highlighter is worth the money? Personally, no. Like, it's not my favourite highlighter ever. Okay, it looks really blinding in the camera and stuff, but this required, like, quite a few layers. And I personally think if you're looking for, like, a super blinding white highlighter, then Ice Cold is so much better. I do feel kind of mean, like, bashing people's products, but that is just my honest opinion. Like, for me, it didn't work as well as the other ones did, so there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. I also just want to mention that I've been posting quite a lot on my vlog channel recently, which is just Soph Does Vlogs. I will put it in the cards up here. Um, I bet I've done that on the wrong side. Please say I've done that on the right side. Um, and obviously all of my social medias are all linked down below. They are all just Soph Does Nails. Um, so yeah, that is it from me. Hopefully if you are new here and you've liked what you've seen, then you will subscribe. That would be amazing. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.